Welcome to Friday Flip on the Becoming You Again podcast. Every Friday, I take your divorce problems, conundrums, and questions and do a quick flip around to empower you to show up as the best you after divorce. Welcome back, my friends. We are doing another Friday Flip, and this week's question comes from Jackie K. She says, I'm dating a man long distance. He is amazing in every way. He makes me feel special every day. He is at the end of his divorce process, and I know all about it. I'm two years out from my own divorce process, but my problem is his soon-to-be ex-wife. I feel in competition with her. My boyfriend and I have discussed this, and he has made it clear he is not going back to her. So this is all me. I work long hours, I have three kids, I own a farm, and I just feel like I don't have my life put together. His ex-wife looks very put together, and I feel like she is so much more put together than I am, and it's driving me crazy. How do I stop feeling this? What have you done to not feel so down on yourself? Is this normal? All right, Jackie, first of all, to answer your last question, yes, it is normal to compare yourself to someone else. We all do it. However, as normal as it is, it's not necessary. And if you continue to do it, it can potentially cause problems in your future relationship as you move forward, right? So let's take a quick look at what you can think, feel, and do different instead. I work with clients every day on creating self-acceptance and self-love, and that's truly where you need to start. The first thing that you need to work on is learning to speak kinder to yourself. You're not giving yourself enough credit for how amazing you truly are. You own a farm. You have three kids. You work long hours and you're doing all of it. Start looking for the things in your life that you can be proud of, that you can appreciate about yourself, that you can love yourself for, that you like about yourself. You need to start recognizing those things, looking for evidence or telling yourself reasons why you like these things that are true and that you believe. I know that there are going to be lots of them. You just haven't been looking for them or noticing them. So now is the time to start doing that. Start making a list and keep adding to it. And the next thing that's really going to help you is you need to stop comparing yourself to her, right? I know you know that intellectually, but knowing it and actually doing it look very different. You have to be willing to be intentional about what you want to think when your brain offers you thoughts that you're not as good as she is. What can you intentionally think about yourself that is loving and accepting instead? So start there and I think you'll start to notice a big difference. That was another really helpful one. Thank you so much, Jackie, for asking that question. That's your Friday flip. Stay tuned for the weekly podcast episode that comes out every Monday. And remember, if you want more one-on-one help from me as your divorce coach to help you create an even better life than when you were married, then you need to schedule your free consult with me by going to www.karennelsoncoaching.com. Remember, that's Karen with an I. 